Hello, my name is Larry Lutnagger. I'm, I'm a gunsmith and CEO of Pattern Master Chokes. Uh, the purpose of this today is, is I'm going to try to explain the technology behind Pattern Master and some of the ways that uh, I can help you sell our product at the stores. Um, what makes Pattern Master different than, than all the other tubes? Well, Ever since shotguns been around, they've always tried to control the, the, the patterns with constriction. Well, one of the bad things about that is with that, it's like dumping sand in a funnel. Everything can't pass through. You end up with a very long shot string. When you're shooting at something that's moving or flying, uh, and you have 20 foot of shot string, even if you hit what you're shooting at, you didn't hit, you missed with more of your pattern than what you hit it with. What is shot string? Shot string is when all of the, the all of your BBs leave the barrel, your shot string is from your first BB to your last BB. Okay? With constriction type tubes, um, that shot string can get up to 20 feet long. It just scatters out because you're running it through a constricted area and it just lengthens the shot string. By using Pattern Master or the Code Black with the stud technology, what you're doing is you're allowing everything to exit at the same time without the constriction so everything stays together and, and produces a extremely hard hitting impact. When, you're, when your geese and your ducks fall, you're not chasing cripples. They're, they're dead when they hit the ground. What makes Pattern Master different? This is a Pattern Master cutaway tube and I've cut this away so you can actually see what's inside. And as if you look in here, you'll see that there's a, a series of five little blocks or studs located inside the tube. What they do, first of all, Pattern Master doesn't use constriction to control the patterns. We do it with this stud ring, and this is how it works. As the wad travels through the tube, uh, carrying the shot, and the base of it hits that stud ring, it will retard this just long enough for all of your shot to go out at the same time. So what we've just done there is we've taken a 20 foot shot string and we brought it down to two to two and a half feet. Now when you when you put that on your game or your prey or your geese, your ducks, whatever you happen to be shooting, you're going to hit with 90 percent of your pattern all at one time versus maybe 10 percent that you actually was using before with a constriction tube. The way that we can control the size of the pattern, uh, we don't do it with changing internal dimensions. The pattern masters, whether they're classic or code black, they're the same dimensions inside. The way that we can control how large the pattern gets is by the amount that sticks out the end of the barrel. You'll notice on the goose tube, you'll have an inch and a half that sticks out the end. The reason for that, the wad inside of a three and a half shell is inch and a half long. So we make this so when the base of that wad hits in here in the stud ring, everything is still inside here when it separates the shot from the wad. And that produces a very full pattern at extreme ranges with a three and a half inch shell. Well, everybody doesn't want a super full tube and everybody's not shooting three and a half inch ammo. If you're shooting two and three quarter or three inch, all you would need is our long range. Our long range uh, would accommodate the shorter wad that's inside the two and three quarter and three inch. Now, and it would still produce a full to an extra full pattern. Now, everybody still would like to have something more open for a different type game. The way that we do that is you notice how, how much we're cut back right here. In the Pattern Master, the long, the long range is this length. We have a mid range, which would be cut back half of this, so you'd have about a half inch that stuck out the end of the barrel. Now, the reason we do that, when the wad comes through carrying the shot, and this is cut back halfway, You'll notice you have a half inch of wad that is sticking out the front of the tube, allowing the BBs go and get to go into a larger circle. Okay, 
So your, your pattern gets bigger this way, but it still stays very short and dense this way. Now, to take it one step farther than that, what we do is we'll cut it all the way back to this length. Now you have the whole wad sticking out the front, allowing to open up when you take the wad away from the shot. So it just got larger again this way, but still very short this way. That's how the Pattern Master stud technology works. The stud ring is inside of our Pattern Master Classics. They're available in black and silver. Uh, they're also available in ported and unported. Um, and they also have a uh, extended range, a long range, a mid range, and a short range. Now we also use this studded technology inside of our uh, code black, some of our code black tubes. The code black has got a very nice bronze, uh, it's a titanium nitrate coating. It's the same thing they put on machine tools to make them last. Uh, we coat it with that after, after they're made. Now they also have uh, the stud technology. Now this length right here in the Pattern Master Classic would be called the extended. In the Code Black it's called the goose. The reasoning for the Code Black, it a lot of people would come in and when we got to be when we got making a lot of different tubes, they would come in for a tube, they would be confused because they didn't know which one to buy. They didn't want to buy the wrong one, so they'd be, leave the store without a tube. So, when we come up with our Code Black series, it says right on the tube what it's for. This, for instance, the long one is called the Goose. The uh, shorter one would be called the Duck. We have the short range, which is called the Upland, Decoy, Pigeon, Timber, all of those different names depending on where the market is that we're selling them. The difference in the Classic and the Code Black, for one, the color. The Classic has a, uh, a dark black finish on it, nitrate finish, and uh, the Code Blacks have a titanium PVD coating on them. In the last few years, Patternmaster has produced a, a turkey tube, actually two turkey tubes, one in the Code Black line and one in the Anaconda line, which I'll cover a little later. Um, what makes it distinct uh, from all the other turkey tubes out there? They're all using constriction. We constrict down to 665, 0.665 on most of our tubes. The way that I arrived at that dimension is uh, I used to go to a lot of card shoots where they go and uh, you shoot uh, a card at, at 28 yards and whoever gets a BB in the X, you know, wins a uh, pound of pork chops or something, you know. But you need a tube that really shoots a tight pattern. So I, I started with about a, a .6440, but as I looked at the targets, I seen that a lot of the holes were not round, they were just slits in there where it had smashed the BB so much that they were just cutting slits. So I kept backing the dimension off until I got to a 665 and then everything started staying round and staying together. We also, inside of the turkey tube, we have some separating rings in there that actually will step the wad away from the shot as it goes through. So you don't have the wad in the equation again. Uh, it also has some special uh, porting that we, have, we developed uh, we call it our canoe porting. Uh, it's very unique looking. Some ammos don't recommend using ported tubes to shoot it, but with our canoe porting, we can get away with it because of the way that they're designed. You can take a, a competitor's tube at 665, and you can take one of our tubes at 665, shoot the same ammo through the same gun, and, and look at the performance for yourself, and you'll see the difference. I can't actually explain what what takes place there but something takes place there with that canoe porting and it uh, it really uh, is a big benefit. Um, one thing to remember on the turkey tube no steel. 
do not shoot steel through a constriction tube that is constricted down to 0.665. Turkey hunters are all about a tight, tight pattern because they want to be able to take its head off and they want to be able to reach out 50, 60 yards if, if they can't call it in any closer, you know. So by using our technology we have in our Code Black Turkey, we're getting 100% patterns at 50 yards. And that is, that's a long shot on a turkey. So if you're getting 100% at 50 yards, I wouldn't be afraid to shoot him at 60, 65. Our Code Black Turkey is a combination of separating rings, constriction, canoe porting, and it has the titanium coating for a very, very hard, durable coating, and it will blend right in with the, the surrounding. This color here blends in very well, and the more, you, the, the more you touch this up in here, putting it in and out, the darker and darker it gets. The next thing I'd like to talk about is, is the Anaconda. The Anaconda is our newest tube that we have. The reason it was developed is when um, Federal came up with the Black Cloud ammunition, Winchester followed with blindside ammunition, and it had a flight control wad in it. And seeing as there was fingers in there that open up and we have studs in there that are trying to take the wad away, there's too many things in there doing the same thing. So we recommended not shooting the, the flight control wads through the Pattern Master or Cord Blacks. So what this did, it caused us to develop another tube, and it's called the uh, Anaconda. Now, what makes this different than everything else is, yes, we do use some constriction on there, but I figured a way that I can use constriction, but still get away from the long shot string. And the way that we do it is inside, as you look in the inside of an uh, anaconda tube, you'll see that there's a, a spiral in there. What that is is actually a gas channel. As that wad moves down through the choke and the base of the wad exposes that channel, there's about 14,000 pounds per square inch of pressure that's pushing things down through the barrel. When, when that uh, channel gets exposed, all that gas pressure will race right up around that wad and put like a radial break on it as the shot leaves the wad. So the shot string is a little bit longer than what our, our studded technology is, but it's instead of being uh, 20 feet long, we're down to about four and a half to five feet long. It's available in long range, mid range, and short range. Our long range, a regular constriction type tube for a full tube normally is right around 0 .690 for a 12 gauge. Our, our Anaconda for our long range is 0 .70 or 705 depending on which gun it's for. Uh, we can get away with making it 10 thousandths larger which uh, decreases pressure. Uh, it makes it so much uh, safer in your gun. Okay, pressure is can do funny things in a gun barrel. Um, but by using the gas system in there swirling around, we can produce the same patterns or better patterns that they can with a .690 with less pressure. Now, it's also available in a turkey version, which is called the Striker. The Striker is longer on the front. It also has the same spiral technology. Uh, the dimension on that is 0 .670. So we do constrict that a good bit. Another thing that separates the Anaconda from, from our Code Black or our, our Classics, by m manufacturing this the way that we do it, we use a very, very tough military grade powder coat on the tip that sticks out the barrel, which we're able to do this whole tube in-house. And so that brings the price down. Okay, one of the first things you need to ask the customer when he comes in to buy a tube is the type of ammunition that he's using. If he uh, 
says, oh, I shoot nothing but black cloud ammunition, you'd want to go ahead and direct him toward either the anaconda or the black cloud tube. We make a tube that is uh, uh, specifically for black cloud. You know, the cooperation from Federal, when they first came out with that, they wanted us to make a tube for them that would shoot their ammunition very well. So we have a tube, our black cloud tube, that's available in the long range, mid range, and short range. Or they could choose the anaconda, which is long range, mid range, or short range, that would shoot their am that ammunition. If uh, they don't have a uh, preference on ammunition, uh, they could, anything is open. They could shoot classic, code black, anaconda, any of them would be okay. We don't recommend uh, ammunition over 1550 feet per second. Uh, the reason for this is you're really not gaining anything. If you ever did, if you ever seen high speed photography at the end of a barrel, when you're shooting anything over that, when the shot and the wad exits the barrel, you'll see everything goes poof. All that extra energy is all wasted. Uh, if you did high speed filming on something that was three inch, two and three quarter, you'll see that there's so much more gas behind the wad that stays behind the wad pushing it down range. Um, you know, when you get over the 1550 feet per second, it's uh, a lot of things start happening. You know, you can get, you can get metal failure in barrels, you can get metal failure in, uh, in tubes. The 12 gauge was actually designed for about 1200 feet per second and now they're up and some of that stuff is going 17. If you try to shoot that real fast stuff through our studded technology, it blows it through there so fast that it doesn't have an opportunity to work. All of our tubes can shoot lead, they can shoot steel, heavy metal, things like that, heavy shot, any of the ammunitions out there. They, they will all handle them, except the turkey. You do not shoot steel through any of our turkey tubes, whether it's the the code black turkey or the anaconda striker. No steel. It's actually written right on the side of the tube. No steel.